Hello again, everybody. Terry Boxing Technical Trader, Monday night, May the 16th. These are the charts of the day. Pretty ugly day in the market today. The end, uh, trend is now down and down sharply, but we may be getting to an oversold condition where we bounce. This is a key area for the indices. So watch for a potential snapback mod. However, the futures are down tonight, and I'm expecting some downside fall through, and it could get uglier before it gets better. Anyway, there are still some stocks on the long side that uh, look good, so we'll discuss some longs as well as shorts tonight. ABIO, a, 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 uh, our Cabayo Pharma has in the last two sessions gone from about $1.80 to 304 Big pop on big volume, 7.6 million today, up 33 cents or 13%. However, we're up against overhead resistance. I would watch this for some consolidation in this area, but if it does take out the 30510 uh, zone, we can see a run up towards the 385 to fourth and a quarter zone. That's my target, four and a quarter. LKS has gone up in about eight consecutive sessions. We just wanted to show you how strong this has been of late particularly after that line was taken out. Stock is now run up into overhead resistance here. So we may see some backing off, particularly with the market weakening. Could be a buying opportunity, but very strong exhibition of relative strength for ALKS. Thinly traded CLRO, Clear One Communications, broke out on uh, Thursday, followed through Friday, and again today, despite the market, has been moved up, moving up from about the Six area to almost nine, uh, about a 50% move in three sessions. Big volume as well for this stock relatively. And uh, right now it looks like momentum could carry towards 10 and a half. China Tech Faith, one of the more outstanding Chinese stocks and one of the members of the strong Chinese telecom group. Right now it's run, in the last four weeks, it's run from three and three quarters to 635 today. And with big volume of one, one and a half million nearly today. So. Uh, Although my target was six and three quarters, and so we may see that short term, the stock is getting a little ahead of itself. Darling International, after breaking out across a key short term four or five week resistance level right there, with a big breakaway gap on Friday, followed through today and got up to over 18, which is my trading target, not far from the top of the channel. It would be normal for the stock to pull back and do some consolidating in here, support around 16.90, but momentum could carry this one higher, particularly if the market does rebound in this sector. Next target on that one would be about 20. DVOX had a big day today, following up on last Thursday's big day, where it broke across a trading range out of a base pattern right here. With a big breakaway gap and run. Had an inside day Friday, and today followed through with another dollar eight at 13.65%. Then they traded, the DVOX only traded 241,000 shares today, but still, it got and it got up to my key lateral resistance up in the zone. So watch for some backing and filling here, but momentum is strong enough for this one, and it could carry into the low teens, if uh, particularly if the market environment is positive. GTXI remarkably has moved steadily from the three and a half area where we spotted it up to 626 this morning, and has reached the top of the channel near its resistance zone. The momentum is strong enough and we could very well see the stock eventually up towards the $8 level. My target for an intermediate move on this one. Up next, we have TISA, which had a big day today, following up on last week's big pop. Notice on Wednesday, big big breakaway gap and run up to resistance and paused for a couple of days. The flag volumes receded, and today it exploded again. 86 cents or 42% on four and three quarter million shares. Short-term target around 4.15, I expect that coming up. And lastly today is the other telecom I was talking about, TSTC, which broke out across the climbing tops line, major downtrend line, lateral price resistance here, and ran all the way up to 8.49 before backing off to 7.75. Still up 79 cents or 11%, 1.87 million, biggest volume this year. And my target right now remains around 9.9 a quarter. Now let's switch over to the box of shorts list and show you some Action on that side. Akamai, AKAM, continues very weak down another dollar today. And a relentless downtrend, which looks like it could see $30 short term. Broadcom, down a dollar nine today on more than 10 million shares. Um, if it breaks down below this $33 level, we could see a quick fall away down towards 29 and a half, three quarters in that area. Forest oil, after breaking hard a couple weeks ago, it's formed a beautiful bear flag here. And right now I'm looking for a quick move down towards 27, maybe as low as. 25. New Star Energy, after a big topping pattern broke, bounced back to resistance, failed, and rolled over hard. Um, and then today rolled over another 67 cents. Is at the lowest level it's been in about six or seven months. And if we step back and look at this pattern, we'll see that there's a lot of room for downside movement here. 
my target male is in the 55 range. NX stage medical, NXTM, um, massive top formation at today after bouncing last th uh, Thursday and backing off Friday today, gap down and lost to 87 cents, right on top of key support. A breakdown below 19 could lead to a quick move towards the 16 and 3 quarters, 17 zone, if not lower. Open table, one of the big caps that are really looking miserable is down nearly six points today after breaking this bear flag after the last couple of sessions today. It spiked down and closed below this low, leading me to believe we may see 81 and possibly 76 short term. Universal display after a long upper upturn has um, formed the top, rolled over hard here, bounced off the support line, trend line, and has been rolling back now. Today down nearly a point. If it breaks this line right there, we're very close to it. I think we're going to roll over, take out the low, and move down into the mid-30s. That's my target for a panel. QSFT, Quest Software, after the big hit a couple weeks ago, and then this week and a half bear flag or pennant, the stock broke today down 60 cents and is breaking out of this pattern to the downside. I'm looking for a quick test of 21, followed by a move down towards 18 and a half. RCII, which broke hard three weeks ago and then rallied back up to the declining moving averages and the gap failed on Friday, rolled over more today down 94 cents. A take out of the um, 30 area thereabout could lead to a quick hit down towards 28 and a half and maybe as low as 26.7 range. ROK broke this rising bear wedge. It's come down steadily for the last couple sessions. It looks like it's about to break the support line and head for a test of 77, our next trading target for ROK. Success factors, SF, SF, after coming down hard at the end of April, it's bounced for a couple weeks, formed the bear flag today, dropping $1.14. Looks like it maybe hit it and maybe hit it sharply lower here. If it does break hard, hard in this area, look for a quick test of 30, maybe as low as 27 and a half. 3D systems, after, after forming a, a top pattern, following this big move up, rolled over hard, from the bear wedge in here, and the last couple of days have been moving lower. Today down another 84 cents, and it looks like it's about to fill this gap if it hasn't yet. And then beneath that, if it starts to roll hard, we could see this move into the high 20s and then mid 20s. Uh, stock traded near 60 just a month ago. Trimble, maybe that navigation after a very, very sharp breakdown two weeks ago, snap back one day to the neckline. Pulled back in front of the little wedge, and the last couple of days have moved down again, down 83 cents today, rolling over. Apparently, a quick test of 39 and a half, maybe forthcoming. Initial target, secondary target, 36.7 area. WMS Industries, after this big wedge was formed over the last four weeks, today it finally broke down 75 cents, and it looks like it may about to accelerate down to retest its 29 and a half area, our first target. And lastly, today's XEC. A major, well, an independent oil and gas consumer, Simerex Energy from the head and shoulder stop, broke down hard, snapped back and failed, and has come down. Today, dropping another dollar 38. Stepping back and looking at the overall pattern on this one, we could see that stock move into the uh, low 80s uh, short term on XEC. And those are some long and short ideas starting off the week. Take it easy.